Okay, so this tutorial is going to teach you how to uh, download properly download the SG mod used on the Gamers for Life SGTRP server and on other servers that may use Gary the Gary's mod SG mod full version from the SVN. Okay, so basically we need SVN Tortoise. If you did not never downloaded SVN Tortoise then I suggest you find another tutorial. I'll put the link in the description. You can download uh, SVN Tortoise. It's pretty... It's, well, it's kind of a complicated program if you don't know how to use it, but yeah, I'm basically going to teach you. Another thing, you... This is only for the SG mod. This will not work on any other mods, like uh, any other add-ons. Like, if you want to download any other random add-on, you don't do this. This will just waste time and effort and stuff, so... Just don't do it. This is only for the SG mod. Yeah. Okay, so first of all, you go to your desktop or wherever you find some place. You uh, basically you have uh, you go new folder, new folder. You just make a new folder. It's that simple. Um, uh, but I'm not going to make a new folder. You can make a new folder anywhere. I already have one in documents. I go documents. Gmod downloads, SVN. You can call. This, I like. You should make an SVN folder. I call it like SVN, but you can call it SVN stuff and shit. Now uh, it doesn't really matter. So you make another folder in there. You call it SGmod. Once again, it doesn't really matter how you call it. I don't think, but uh, I call it this. I spell it this way just because like that's how they did it in the original version. Might not make any difference at all, but yeah. So basically. To make that, then you go SVN checkout. Then you paste the link. The link to the uh, SG mod SVN will also be found. Just a second, I'll close that, redo it. SVN checkout. This is the link. The link will be found in the description. Now, check out directory gmod downloads SVN SG mod. That's good. Fully recursive. The rest you usually don't have to change it, but. Uh, just in case, make sure it looks all like this. Okay, so now you go OK. And there you go. It starts the command. It'll start downloading the SVN. This, I, I'm serious, this takes a long time. So if you be ready to just go do something else while you wait for this, this takes a long time, especially like if you have a, a low speed. Like before, I had 60k kbps and like the maximum and yeah depending on your speed it'll take a long time I'd still expect to be there like 30 minutes at least if not like two hours or three hours so yeah I'm just gonna cancel cuz I already have this downloaded but yeah you have to download this into SG mod so uh, this folder is kinda useless to me I'm gonna go here now, me, I have the same folder, but uh, I have it in here, so just bear with me. You guys know where I'm going if you've ever downloaded non uh, other add ons and stuff. Steam, OS, program files, Steam, Steam apps. It's basically C drive program files, Steam, Steam apps, but no. Steam, SVN exportings, this is where I put it. When you're done the download, you should have like a little green check beside the folder, that means that's the folder you need. Now, you right click on that folder, and then you go Tortoise SVN, this little thing here, and somewhere in here you will find export. See this? Export, you need to use export, then choose, so you need computer operating system, which is C drive, program files, mine says 86, yours might say something else, I don't know, this is a Vista thing. Um, then you find Steam, somewhere around here. Sony Steam. Then you go to Steam Apps. And now you have your accounts, you have to choose the one that's your Steam account, it should say your Steam account. And by the way, I'm assuming you have Gary's Mod or else I don't know why you're watching this tutorial. And uh, I'm just going to choose this Steam account because it doesn't have it installed yet, so it will be easier to show you. And uh, it has Gary's Mod, so. Now, Shadow Demon, Gary's Mod. 
Okay, so now you go Shadow DMN, Gary's Mod, and then there's a second Gary's Mod folder inside the Gary's Mod folder. You go to the second Gary's Mod folder, and then there's add-ons, bin, catch, but you just go second Gary's Mod folder, and you say OK. Now, you might ask, OK, the files, add-ons, SGMod, and full text already exist. Yes. OK. What? Oh, OK. Yes to all. Now, this is just because uh, I already tried this tutorial once and it failed the first time. Yeah, anyways. Um, uh, so, this is. You're probably wondering why I'm exporting this. Like, seems kind of pointless. But, uh, no, it isn't. Apparently, I won't pretend to know exactly what mechanics go in there. Because I don't really get it. But apparently, if you don't export it like this and you just put the folder in there then there are some files that weren't decompressed by the export or something and uh, it'll make your game load a lot slower or something like that I'm not really sure of all the details all I know is that's how you're supposed to do it and therefore don't argue okay so now we're done exporting so what you'll need is you'll need to go to steam now get out of it go steam apps now go to where you had it. Go to Gary's Mod. Gary's Mod. The second Gary's Mod folder. Then there you have it. Gmod. It doesn't have the green check anymore. That's okay though. It just means that uh, it's fully exported. So uh, now that you have this, you have credits readme. That's not important. You need to copy the contents of this folder. Now I'm just going to copy it. Go to Gary's Mod. Back to this folder. And just yeah, now I'm going to paste all the contents into the second Gary's Mod folder. Now you'll notice that some of the folder, some of the folder contents already say the same things as the folders you're about to put. That's because you're going to merge them. Now you just see, do you still want to merge this folder with this one? Yes. Do not do anything else, just say yes. You have to merge the folders. Now, basically, wait a bit and it merges the folders merging merging just wait one note you'll notice when you get to a certain point it'll be a folder called console and you can merge that one but then it'll show you a bunch of files do you want to place or whatever it's really a question of uh, preference if you just say uh, keep both or uh, do not rep do not copy then you'll keep that little screen with the guy with a cone on his head when you start up but if you copy the new files all the new files then instead of a guy with a cone on his head you'll see uh, something of Stargate like for the SG mod anyways we're just not gonna get into that that's just a question of preference and then you say merge merge these folders merge this folder yeah go ahead merge this folder and console. Now we're getting into the console stuff. So yes. Now me, I just say copy but keep both files. That keeps a little cone on his head guy. Copy but keep both files. Copy but keep both files. Okay, so yeah. Now we're done. So uh, now that you're done, that's pretty much it. I'd like to give special thanks to uh, Gamer LV from the G4L clan. Well, the G4L organization. He uh, helped me a lot. In fact, he's the one who made the original tutorial for this. And if you think that you don't really understand uh, this, uh, but you're good at following instructions, you can find a link in the side. The link will lead you to his tutorial. It's like a document. It's a wor Microsoft Word document. But it really works. It taught me how to do this. It's basically just step-by-step -step instructions. Like, so yeah, special thanks to GamerLV. And also, please visit thegamersforlife.org their website, the clan website and uh, probably join the forums, I don't know and be sure to uh, go on to the awesome RP server they have a Stargate RP, really cool server and this is basically why I'm doing this, people who want to join and uh, get full out of the server now remember, SGMod doesn't work if you don't have the original Stargate Stargate SVN downloads you can find the link to those SVN downloads in the description as well. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps. To, if you want to know if it worked or not, then when you start the game, you should, if you chose to, 
you should see a, either a Stargate background, or if you didn't choose to have the Stargate background, then you'll hear music, like Stargate SG-1 theme music. And if you hear that, then you know it worked perfectly and you should be ready to play. Okay, that's all. Thanks for watching.